so the first thing you need to do is to first install our my recommended search engine plugin for wordpress which is smart crow so to do that simply click on the plugins uh, button then click on add new so once the page loads up just type in smart smart crow and you're going to install the first plugin you're going to see which is exactly this one over here and i'm going to activate it okay so once you activate the plugin simply scroll down and click on it in the left menu of wordpress and i'm just going to click on it so, so when you're first installing this plugin for the first time you're going to see a page like this one okay so all you have to do is simply click on get started and just give it some time it does its job so i'm going to click on got it so let's wait first for the ceo check okay so there are a lot of things we need to fix as you can see to tell you already what you're supposed to do so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go to title and meta that is exactly where we're going to start from so we're going to edit our, our how our website appears in search engines so I'm going to write in the title once to appear in search results. So I'm going to, just to I'm going to enter uh, Kisha Ren's blog, something like that. Then, then for the description, I'm just going to copy the description which is written over here and I'm going to paste it in here okay then we're going to enable open graph as well and I'm going to copy this title over here and we're going to paste it in here okay so for twitter as well it's the same thing i'm going to by the way i'm using shortcuts ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then i am going to click on save settings so we're done with this first page here so the second thing we have to do now is go to post types so we are going to okay so this one i'll just leave it the way it is even here as well even here as well okay so how about pages let's see for pages okay pages yeah i'll leave it the way it is media okay i'll give the default settings products okay we will leave the default ones team these ones i just leave them the way they are then i'll click on save settings so the next thing we're going to do is go to taxonomies so as for me i like uh, adding in some text in my tags because uh most of the times these tags don't usually have descriptions so what i'm going to write here is learn more on okay so this is a tag called god so by adding a learn more on god then i'm going to say learn more on god with these posts below 
then people are going to uh, they're going to understand what the tag contains posts about so I'm going to paste it just here then I'm going to paste it here as well okay then categories then I'm going to do the same thing as well here I'm going to say then move on ah uh, not like this for the category I just leave it the way it is I'll be doing it manually then I'm just going to click on save settings it's about archives so the other thing I have to do now is archives I think I'm going to leave them the way they are it's fine for now and the last thing is settings so the separator I prefer using this same usual one here okay so we're done with that one but it's time for schema and this is where the important part is so now we are going to set up our schema so this website name is Kisha Rains. so let's upload our logo I'm going to use probably the yeah this one okay no not the cropped one i think it's this one here and it's supposed to be kisha rings and i'm going to click on select so this is a person not an, an organization so i'm just going to write kisha rings job title and i say blogger uh, bio I'm going to copy this same one over here and control plus V to paste and portrait photo uh, I'll definitely choose the same one just and I'll paste it here so our brand name is the same name which is Kisha Rings the logo again the same one Personal contact, I'll write in probably my number. Okay, the contact page is this one over here. Twitter username, Facebook app ID, uh, page, Instagram. Okay, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and no. YouTube. Okay. Then I'm going to click on save settings. Okay, now let's go to advanced. Let's select the about page. So the about page is this one. The contact page is this one. The menu, I'm going to select first menu. Then I'm going to enable this tool. And I'm going to okay enable that as well. and i'm going to enable the video schema and the audio schema so that whenever i upload an audio on our website it will be uh, shown in google search even a video will be shown on google search as if it's from youtube so now to enable youtube you have to connect your ip or your api key so i'll probably make another video now to get uh, a youtube api in the later video so for now i'm going to disconnect and I'm going to click on save okay so when you go to types builder you can add in some new schemas so for now I won't do anything we we'll just end here let's go to settings okay so once now that we're done with schema it's time for social so simply click on that social button over there and enable open graph so for twitter cards enable them and okay as for us it's already enabled then the other thing i'm going to do is set up sitemap so our sitemap is available on this url so i'm just going to click it to open the new tab so currently this uh, url has got 16 urls okay So I probably have to remove in some things. Okay. So
so our site map should definitely contain posts pages products sliders no team yes clients yes testimonials jobs categories tags product categories topics yes then i'm just going to click on self settings and we're going to do uh, go to settings then we we'll have to enable this to enable our images in the search map so they can be indexed as well and i'm going to choose default and i'm going to click on self settings okay so now we're going to go to advanced tools for the advanced tools this is where you can add in some redirect to urls if you would like to redirect some pages you can simply click on add redirect over here for now we don't want to do anything so we'll continue to settings so on settings okay enable advanced tools okay i think i also enable this and so now let's add in our google verification tag so to, to do that simply go to search console the search.google.com slash says console so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here on this button and i'm going to click on add property and i'm going to enter in the url simply just copy it and paste it then typing ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to click on continue okay so my site has been verified that's there and then so i think i won't need to enter the verification code because it's already there on the root domain okay so one what what i'm going to do right now is to send this site map to to our search console that google can start indexing our posts right away so to do that what i'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on the website you've just created and click on site maps and I'm going to paste in the site map URL and I'm going to click on submit. Okay, so Google will periodically uh, scan and index our post. So this is it about the search engine optimization uh, for guide for WordPress. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you'd like to learn more, keep on receiving this type of videos, then be sure to subscribe. Bye for now, see you in the next video.